Hello, YouTube people. I just woke up and I'm really tired. <laughs> it's Papa Locker Kelsey here, back with another video. And I finally, after like eight years, figured out how Sonic RP Project Ray Knight works. There's an update made on the 1st of July to this game that where you could choose to be a classic character. But you can't be classic and normal at the moment because he's currently fixing them, so you can only be metal. But me and a lot of other people have actually figured out how you can be a normal character, so I'm gonna show you guys how that is possible. Let's join the game. Okay, now I'm loading into the game. It is upgrading my Roblox for some reason. Okay, now I'm finally loading into the actual game. Project Rainai version 0.9.93. Jeez. This game is in really early testing, so that's why. Okay, now I'm finally loading into the game. I'm just gonna wait for the screen to load so I can show you guys what it is. There's a random person named Cress standing above me. Okay, I'm not gonna wait for the screen to load any much longer because that's how impatient I am. Basically what the screen is, it just tells you, welcome to the roleplay, here's the rules, please follow them or you will be permanently banned. Oh, I lost connection. Let's try this again. By the way, another update to the game caused a lot more shutdowns, so yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, we're requesting the server again. Let's see if it works, y'all, cross your fingers. I'm gonna make sure this server works, and we're gonna load that first screen. So I can show you guys the rules and stuff, even though there's only like two. There's only like two rules, and they're like the most important. Okay, now, now here it is. Welcome to Sonic Roleplay Project Ray Knight version 0 0.9.93. Please follow these rules. No god, me, god modding and no EXEs. You will be permanently banned if you break these rules. Do you understand? I understand. Now, when you get off that screen, you can move your character around, but for right now I'm glitched, standing still. You can choose whether you want to be a hero, neutral, or evil. I always go with neutral because it has pixel of shadow. Actually, that's not the reason, but I don't care. Now, when you go to character type, you can decide to be normal, classic, or metal. But normal and classic reset your character, so people thought you could only be a metal character. But, you are a normal style character when you first spawn in. So, basically what you can do with that, you can just go ahead and click continue, and ta-da! It gets you your normal style right off the bat. So, I'm gonna make a character, and then I'm gonna come back once my Actually, you know created. what, I'm just gonna show the whole process of me making the character, because why not? The first thing that I always do is I always select my eyebrow type to be number two instead of number one, because I always make characters that have split eyes instead of all one. Unless I'm being a canon character like Shadow, Silver, Sonic, Tails, blah 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 blah, then I will pick a different style depending on what they are. Okay, continue. <coughs> I would always go with the fox muscle for most of my characters since a lot of my characters are foxes, but a lot of them are also deers, and I do have about three chipmunk characters, so they kind of have a Sally style. And that's the same way with me having a Lynx character, since that was the same period where for Nicole in the RG comics. Continue. I would choose a fox ear style over anything, because the rabbit style looks a little weird, unless you have hair. The bat style is way too huge, that's why I'll never be a bat character. I don't even understand the weasel, so I'm not even going to question. And the hedgehog ears are way too small. So I always go with the fox ears because they're the biggest and they just look better on your character. And now we can decide the colors for my character. I'm going to pick the same character that I play as in every single role play. So my head is this. I have eyeliner. <coughs> White and she has blue eyes. This blue, not that blue. Continue. And for the muscle, the muscle connects to the eye line, similar to how Sally's does. So I look kind of like Sally at the moment. And I have eye ears, and the inside of her ears are actually red. Kind of red pink. <coughs> Next, spine type. For spine type, I always go to page 2 and choose it as blaze because it just looks better. And then for hairstyle, I always go with 5 because that's better than the original 3, which I'll have to show you right now. See how small it looks? I just don't like it. 
And then look at this style. Looks a lot better. <coughs> so now, yes, eyelashes keep them black. And I didn't put a spine tip for this character, but she does kind of have one in her werehog side. The only reason I get the werehog side is so that I can transform her and she can run on all fours because that's how she's meant to run. <coughs> now, chest type. I always choose one because two is obviously more shadow style and three is kind of a knuckles and silver kind of style. <coughs> so I always go with one because it's a sonic style. And <coughs> I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with it anyways. That tail type. I always choose her to have a small tail because this is one of my dear characters. So she has a small tail and no, no back spines. Yes. And grab tail. And her arm and glove color. Her glove colors and her shoe colors are all exactly the same thing. <coughs> She has no source, nothing. And she wears a skirt, pretty sure. I'll have to go check and see what my character looks like again because I don't exactly remember her style, but I'm pretty sure she wears a skirt. <coughs> I was only this character a while ago, and then I kind of stopped being her after the game got updated and I didn't know how to be a normal character. <coughs> Okay, now, I'm basically giving you guys a tutorial on how to make her character, blah blah blah. Like, head strike. Oh yeah, now I remember, she does have skirt. <coughs> Let me just die. Alright, now, torso. She always has the vest, but she has no sleeves on her vest, that's why I make it brown. <coughs> and everything she wears is light blue, by the way. <coughs> on her head, she's got her antlers and her ears. Well, on her ears. And she has glasses. And torso. I gave her a neckerchief because the, the chest is supposed to connect up to her muzzle. So, yeah. <coughs> the torso. Skirt. I don't think she has a cape. Uh, I, never mind. I think she has cape. Cape. And that's the same because it's mainly meant for her back. Continue. <coughs> she never really holds a weapon because my character right here that I'm being, she is against fighting. She really refuses to fight. And she just hates it, but... And that's why she hates going into her, um her super form because her super form she thinks all super forms invoke uh, fighting between people because that's normally how fighting works I mean food food <laughs> let me just die right. now time to make the name character's name is Serenity Fawn <coughs> because she's a fawn she is really young and she, all of my characters that are really young crush her tails I don't know why <coughs> so she's nine her crush is tails jeez Sorry, I shook my microphone off there for a second. Okay. <coughs> now time to continue. Her only friend is Amy. Uh, she befriends other characters when I'm in roleplay. And whenever her supposed rivals, she hates my character Nova. She really hates Nova, but she does not want to fight him. <coughs> okay, 
Okay, now she has nature powers. She refuses to fight anything. go dark. <laughs> okay. Now, Serenity Fallen is a completed character. This is basically a tutorial on how to make Serenity, and um, I'm probably going to leave the game after this, but I may roleplay for a little bit. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, this video is over. <coughs> Bye, people, people.